So, Stephen. Harry. This is interesting because this is the box that's arrived, addressed to good vibrations. It looks very formal, but. Hmm. And this is the documents enclosed. Well, the documents enclosed. See, I haven't ordered anything, and mm -hmm. I'm not expecting anything. To Terry Hooley, or perhaps one of his highly trained assistants, please find enclosed, hopefully in good order, one record collection which represents my childhood, stroke teenage years, stroke coming of age. I was going to sell it bit by bit on eBay till I saw Good Vibrations on BBC. I immediately felt an affinity with the man who stood against all of the stupid, ingrained bigotry and hatred masquerading as religion that took place in the 70s and sadly perpetuates till the present day. Hopefully some of the red discs and rarities will help make Belfast's poorest record store a few quid richer. All the very best, Jimmy Bristol. Very nice, very touching. So let's see what we have here. Enclosed. Well, there's an old record that I used to have. Mm -hmm. Ready, steady, go to the who. And that under is that the original. It looks like the reissue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pete Townsend. And there's the flexi disc of the, the who of my my generation and pinboard whistle. And the very first record that I ever had was a flexi disc advertising summer, summer County Margarine. Yes, you should. And it. that, I still got it, believe yes, it or not. Yeah. And that was the day I became a fanatical record collector. Mm. Remember and there you are, pay no more than 60 p for this Pete Towns and Let My Love Open the Door single. Bargain. And there you are, an original on Brunswick mm. of my generation. And I hope I die before I get old. <laughs> so this looks like the whole who collection. Roger Daltrey, mm -hmm. I've been with many a time, and interesting enough, oh look, there, mm -hmm. there's my youth, definitely. If you need me, empty heart, set to confess the blues, and around and around. The joint was a rockin', going round and round, Chuck very soft. Oh, oh that's, I, I might keep that myself, just for nostalgia's sake. So, Another my generation. Yes, and the Beatles. Oh, the Beatles, this boy. Mm. That boy took my heart away. He'll regret it someday, but this boy... The, oh, I love that song. I used to, used to sing that mm. going home after getting my heart broke up, broken. And Roy Orbison, my great... Oh, pretty woman. And I had... I, I got a phone call from a journalist, he says it's not even on Reuters yet, Roy is dead. Mm -hmm. And I phoned up the radio station in Monaghan, where I did a reggae show every night, and told him to make a jingle to say that I would be doing a two-hour special for Roy Orbison. And I think I did him justice that mm -hmm. night. And I phoned up my girlfriend, and I said to her, Roy's dead. We're having a wake for him in Lavery's at the bar at six o'clock. And she said, see if you come home drunk. I'm throwing you out. And I came home with about 12 people mm. and we went home and we watched Black and White Night for Roy. Loved Roy, huge Roy fan. Mm. In fact, Roy Orbison made it cool for you to be a man and cry. The Who by Numbers. And what a great album. Mm. The Who Live and Beans. And then there's all the, the Who used to get £80 for playing gigs. Mm. And actually, I got paid 80 quid for doing one of the the halls in there in the 60s doing DJ. And that there's the French, whose greatest hits 10 years. The kids are all right. I know they are. Mm, they used My kids are all right. Except they'll never lend me any money. Mm. And Quadrophenia. 
Rhythm of the Rain, the Cascades, as used in Shell Shock Rock. Be My Baby, the Ronettes, one of the greatest records ever recorded. Louis, Louis, the Kingsmen. Mm. Oh, Night Train, James Brown. Bellboy. Well, the interesting thing about this is Roger Daltrey got in touch. I got a phone call to say the Who were doing the Quadrophenia tour and they were playing Belfast and Roger wanted to meet me. Mm -hmm. Little did he know that we had met about seven times before and the last time it wasn't exactly pleasant. Mm -hmm. So what happened was I went to it but then I met all these people and they wanted me to photograph them to take it with me. I wanted to photograph Who's Next Great Album. And, uh, so we went late and then they were leaving, but we, we stole all their drink, because they, they don't party, like, no, I don't. we go straight back to the hotel. Mm. And it was these Americans who come over from Los Angeles, who were backstage too. Mm. And uh, so we stole all their drink and we went down outside Voodoo and we sat outside drinking, drinking all their, their rider. <laughs> There's a quick one. Oh, this is basically my, my youth of me, the loneliest kid in the bedroom. So, John Entress's solo album. I don't see the Pete Townsend first solo album here, but he does a great version of Jim Reeves. There's a heart. The thing about Pete Townsend and myself, we were big followers of, of Maya Baba, mm. who was our spiritual leader. Now Stevie, don't worry, be happy because Mia Baba loves you. That's all you need to know. And and another copy. Life. That's the one with all the probably all the stuff inside. Insert. You can feel it. And who are you? Well, you just get this out. Oh, there's more. Who are you? And what on earth is this? Oh, that's just more packages. KM two sides. Is there anything in that? Looks like there's something in there. In fact, I'll, get you, I'll give you the pleasure okay. of it. So this is like Christmas for me. Um, so like all we need now is a Who fan who's lost their, their collection. They're, they're, they've divorced their wives and their wives have stolen or sold their Who collection. And uh, we're, we're open to negotiating a good price for some of this stuff. And we're prepared to haggle. So it's very nice that somebody should. Oh, it just sort of reminds me of a story that I uh, had all these posters and records uh, in my hippie days. Keith's album. Uh, in my hippie days, and in Friends magazine, I said, I've got all these Ronettes, uh, Shangri La's, and all singles, a lot of posters, Dylan and stuff. And I said, send me stamps and I'll, I'll send you. So he would send me stamps, and I sent them my records and posters all over the world, which is, yeah, that's which is sort of like a, never regretted because I, I mean, at that time I just wanted to get rid of everything in my mm. life and start again. But it was me happy days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, they started taking the psychedelics out of the LSD, and then 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 the seventies came, and it was really horrific time in Northern Ireland. Don't even talk about that. Mm. So there's Keith, what an interesting man <coughs> Keith was. Sort of not sure if I'd want to go drinking with Keith, although yeah. I did meet them all. I met them in uh, May the 6th, 1966, the same day Dylan was playing in Belfast. Mm. I think they were playing in the Top Hat Ballroom in Lisbon, where many of my heroes played, like Marianne Faithful and people mm. like that. So it's really nice. and. I'd like to thank Jimmy Bristol for his collection and we'll make sure, nice we'll make sure that they will go to the people who really appreciate them. Putting these out in the shop because in a few weeks time we're going to be closing down the shop, we're going to have a sale where everything, even though things are already reduced, everything will be half price. But then what I could do is save these Put them in my garage for when Good Vibrations opens again for its 12th shop, if I've got the energy. Or if anybody has a Who fan, I will keep these aside, I'm not going to put them out there because they'll probably be stolen anyway. What I might do, 
is put these, uh, pack them up, put them away, and put them in my garage, and save them for when I open up my 12th shop. Unless somebody would like to buy some of them off me. Get in touch with them, send me a message on Facebook, send me a message on email, terryhurley at hotmail.co.uk or come and see me personally on Thursday night in Voodoo when I'm doing DJ. Anyway, thank you very much. It's been wonderful talking to you. Now I'm away off to the pub.